those that don't know me, my name is Connie, and if you're new to my channel, I'd like to welcome you. And if you are new, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know how you found out about my channel, and let me know a little bit about yourself so I can start to get to know you better. Well, today is Knitting Friday, but it's on a Saturday. <laughs> Yesterday was a lazy day for me, and I just sat back, enjoyed watching some TV, and worked on crocheting so that's why my video didn't get up uh, filmed and uploaded yesterday so sorry I'm late but better late than never <laughs> so I want to show you all the progress on the shawl that I've been working on and this is how it's coming along and I'm hoping this coming week I'll get to start working on the cables for it and the lacy port I hope I get into that port if not it'll probably be the, the next week that I start working on it but I can't wait to get to the cables and lace because y'all know I love me some cables then I've planned what I'm gonna work on after I finish this show so remember how in that unboxing video of the giveaway I won from Tracy I had gotten this beautiful yarn it's yarn B and the color is uh, power surge and I was trying to figure out what to make with it and I really I really wanted to do a shawl but I, I wasn't sure if I had enough yarn for it but I did some digging and I found a pattern that that's gonna work because um the pattern calls for right under 900 your yards of yarn and each skein of this yarn is 415 yards and I have three of this so that's over 1200 yards of yarn that I have so it should work <laughs> so I'm going to do the shawl and with this and I'm going to put the link for the shawl pattern that I want to do next in the in the description box of this video so y'all can see the pattern so I'm curious what are you currently knitting also, those of you that are just starting to learn how to knit, let me know in the comments how it's, it's coming along with learning knitting. And now I'm going to show y'all some pictures that my viewers submitted of projects that they're either working on or finished projects. Uh, first, there's Amanda. She's loom knitting a shawl. And for those that aren't familiar with loom knitting, um, that it's actually how I got into the yarn crafts because you can make a lot of the same things on a loom that you can with regular knitting um but I do find looms are more they rest they restrict you I like having the freedom more where I don't have to sew the panels together and all that but um but yeah loom knitting, loom knitting is a lot of fun if y'all haven't tried it y'all might want to give it a try and then we have some socks that, um, pictures that Teresa H. sent. And she did a beautiful job on her socks. So let's go take a look at these pictures. <laughs> socks are just gorgeous I so love seeing what y'all are working on I mean there's so much talent in the Yorny community so keep sending y'all pictures my way so a lot of y'all have been saying that y'all want to see more of Frank also now known as the biscuit so I've decided that I'm gonna I'm gonna do little segments on my videos or I may actually just do a separate video but I'm going to give y'all an opportunity to ask Frank, I'm sorry, the biscuit, i got to get that right now, the biscuit, <laughs> for y'all to have the opportunity to ask the biscuit questions. So if y'all have questions for the biscuit, let me know. You can either put them in the comments or email me 
or even in my Facebook group, you can you can let me know there too. So yeah, submit your questions for the biscuit to me and he'll answer your questions. So now I have a special guest store for y'all today, the biscuit. Hello everyone, I am the biscuit. I was raised in Eunice, born in Eunice, still live in Eunice. So the biscuit, why don't you tell us about how, how you love Cajun food? Oh, I Cajun food has been around me all my life. My grandmother cooked it, my grandfather cooked it, everyone I know cooks Cajun dishes. From gumbos to jambalayas to everything. So the biscuit, didn't your grandmother own a restaurant? Why don't you tell us about that? My grandmother's restaurant was called Ruby's Cafe and she had that since the 40s. She started out as a waitress, saved up some money, got a loan, bought the restaurant she was working at, and made that into a very successful business. She worked and she owned it and worked at it every day until the day she died. God rest her soul. So, The Biscuit, I heard that you used to get into movies in a unique way. Why don't you tell us about that? Now, the restaurant my grandmother owned was next to a movie theater. As I was young and growing up, I used to take the sausage sandwiches that she would make, learn how to make them, and I would go bring them to the movie theater next door because the guy apparently never could get his own food, so I would feed him and he'd let me in for free. Now that guy no longer works at that theater. Matter of fact, I think they're about to close it. But, hey, I had movies. I had it all. So, the, the Biscuit, I hear that you're a bookworm. Oh, I very much am. I love my science fiction, my, my horror, everything, all that. Now, the restaurant that my grandmother had about two blocks away was a library. So, when I got shooed away, I'd basically go spend the rest of my afternoon reading books. I would check them out, stay out of trouble type thing. And that really helped me to expand a lot of knowledge. I read everything I could get my hands on. So, The Biscuit, I hear you like to watch YouTube videos. Ta I do. What type of videos do you like to watch? Well, I like to watch anything that's made by my baby. That's Mrs. Sweet Cheeks or Mrs. The Stitch or Mrs. The Biscuit, however you want to call it. So, one last question, Mr. Biscuit, or I'm sorry, The Biscuit. I am The Biscuit. So, tell us about your grandfather. Now, my grandfather was a very unique individual. He was a auto parts salesman, distributor, repairman type thing, but that's not what made him interesting. He was a Cajun folklorist, a Cajun storyteller. He can have you believing a story that you knew was obviously a farce, but you were so entertained that you couldn't help but just sink right into the story. I think I got that from him. <laughs> so, The Biscuit, do you have any final words of wisdom? All I know is, I am The Biscuit. And there you have it, from The Biscuit. news today. Oh, the cat the cats are something else. <laughs> so Sophie's still been in a very lovable mood. Um there's still times she doesn't like letting her mommy crochet or knit. Um but Allie has been wanting to be more lovey dovey. Um she came around yesterday and it was so sweet she came on the arm of the chair and she falls asleep with her head hanging over the side of, of the arm of the chair. And at one point, Sophie, you could tell Sophie wanted to come to the chair. But she saw Allie there and she knew, like, Allie, Allie, wouldn't, Allie wouldn't be nice to her. But finally she got brave and she did get on the back of the chair. And Allie was okay with it. 
as long as there's a certain amount of distance, usually Allie's all right. But, you know, Allie will still periodically give her that look like, you better leave me alone. <laughs> and then, then Allie, Allie was looking all cute at the front door again. She was standing on her back two paws like this, looking out the, the window of the screen door all curious. And she also claimed Sophie's stool at the front door. And poor Sophie, I don't think she realized Allie was on her stool. So she goes to jump on it. And next thing you know, Allie is hissing at her. And, and here's Sophie like freezing like, I want my stool. I don't know what to do. <laughs> but yeah, um, Allie wasn't nice to her there. Oh, I also have some pet pictures that were submitted um, from Amanda of her three dogs. There is Axel, Remy, and Theo. And they are all very beautiful dogs. So let's check them out. <laughs> Like I said, beautiful dogs. So I think that's all that I have for y'all today. If y'all haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. Please like this video, give it the thumbs up, and please share my videos on your social media platform. And I hope everyone is having a fabulous yarny day. Be the light and bye!